Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Divic and welcome to part two of the frequently asked questions in regards to Paleo Arc. Now you guys really, really uh, pulled through in the first part. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate that. Thank you also for all of your questions and also requesting part two, even though I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> and I do appreciate all, all the intrigue and the interest in what I'm doing and you know all the, all the different stuff here. And also, before we get into it, I want to thank you guys so much for 877 subscribers. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate the subscriptions, the likes, comments, all that stuff. But if you do wish to financially support me in any form or fashion, if you go down in the description below, there, there's a link to, it, to the Ko-Fi page for the channel. Uh, there, you can directly donate to the $4,000 goal of getting a new computer, because uh, this one that I'm using... It's, it's non-conducive for what I need it for, and plus, this thing can't handle ASA, like, at all. So, <laughs> I'm definitely needing a new computer. But also, you can also pledge to the different tier tiers. There's a $5 and $10 tier where you can get all access to all the behind-the-scenes and all the fun stuff and things that I do in regards to the channel. But, um, if, but also, if that's not your speed, you can just donate straight away through Ko-Fi. There's also Cash App, which if you contact me on Discord or on Twitter, uh, link to my Twitter is in the description below as well. And just let me know, hey, this is the purpose of my message and we will go from there and you will get my Cash App because I'm not sure how I feel about putting it in the description just yet, but maybe someday soon that will change. But all that, all that aside, let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of the video. Okay, so all questions, are straight from the FAQ and all answers are straight from up from the depths himself. So here we go. So question one, what is PaleoArc Evolution? Answer, PaleoArc Evolution is a mod aimed to TLC a lot of Ark's roster of prehistoric animals released from, ju from June 2015 to August of 2017 that were more or less left behind in the current meta. At minimum, Evo, the designed term for our TLCs, in-game they'll actually just be called by their regular names, no Evo prefix, will be complete a complete model overhaul. At max, an Evo will receive a new model, sounds, animations, abilities, and everything in between at, or a combination of those. This also includes complete gameplay overhaul elements. So like take the, take the Evo Giga, for example, how it has more attacks, looks cooler, sounds cooler, is cooler than the vanilla Giga. That's, that's basically what, he mean, what that means. Question. Can you please... TL, can you please TLC... Insert creature he, here that came out after full launch in August of 2018. Or TLC creature that came out recently or already got an official TLC. Answer. Well, that's stupid. Why would we TLC newly released creatures or creatures that already got an official t TLC for? We do not TLC dinos that... I already got an official model or an animation TLC. Wildcard did that job for you. Stop asking. But why did the Rex get one? <laughs> okay, sorry for the for the snark, but this this question does crop up very often, even in my own comment section. Answer: Because of several reasons. One, it is my mod. My mod being Depths, by the way. And I do as I please. The Evo Tyrannus from Paleo Arc on. Ark Survival Evolved was a gift from a friend, pod creature, behind Dino Hoarders, and I refused to leave it behind. But it was it was an earlier work of hers, so we brought it up to quality and touched it up with textures and gave it new rig and animations. So the Evo Rex that Rebecca Dark Edge TV just recently covered, like I think it was last week. Yeah, that guy. This new guy is that one, but newer. So there, there that is there. Question. Can you add the original Paleo Arc Giga model into this mod? Described, described version 1 or version 2 that was in Arc Survival Evolved. Answer. If something receives a model update, I am not going to keep <laughs> the original model in the mod. Did Arc keep the old Rex when they TLC the new one? No. Stop asking me this. Think, dang blast it. I'm not saying that, of course. But... Yes, yeah, seriously, I even I get this question from time to time, and no, and no, it will not be released as a skin either. <laughs> like we're we're not we're not doing the, it's not it's not happening. I, I say we, 
I'm not a part of the team, but it's not going to happen, so don't ask. <laughs> Question, how does this mod work? Answer, our Evo creatures, in typical TLC fashion, are designed to replace their vanilla counterparts one-to-one. -one. Any vanilla counterparts will no longer spawn and the Evo creatures will take their place. Wherever Rexes spawn, our Evo Tyrannosaurus will spawn there instead of them. You will be able to manually convert your tamed vanilla dinos into their Evo equivalent, and we're looking to make this an, au an automatic process. The stats of your creatures will be carried over as well as we want players to preserve their breeding lines. Now, um, Rebecca Dark Edge TV did actually cover this in both the Rex and Evo Giga videos. She did show off that you know in the radio wheel there would be the option. That's what's being that's what's being talked about here. Again, I'll put I will also put both videos video links in the description below. Check those out. But I mean, if you came here, you probably already saw those. But I'm going to do so anyways. Question: What if I take an Evo mod off? Will I get my vanilla creatures back? Answer: We are looking into this and hopefully have a viable solution. I don't have any additional commentary for that one. <laughs> Question. Will Paleo Arc Evolution be one mod or separate additions? Answer. We're releasing e the Evo creatures in packs themed around essential, well, theme. <laughs> Big carnivores slash theropods in one? Big herbivores? Flyers? Aquatics? You get the general idea. Question. How come creatures like Brontosaurus aren't on the list? Answer. We're in talks about a future merger with Dino Horrors TLC. Stay tuned, winky face. Okay, so that is all the questions there. And oh man, there is a massive list here. So you know what? I'm going to have to take a breath here for a second. There is a massive list for the planned additions for Paleo Arc Evolution. So on launch, on launch, we have the Evo Rex and Evo Giganotosaurus. Coming after launch, oh boy, here we go. All right, here we go, let's go. <clears throat> we have Allosaurus, Ankylosaurus, that's coming in a April. Ar Araniomorphus, which is the little spider dude. Baryonyx, Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus, Dunkelosteus, Gallimimus, Iguanodon, Caprosuchus, Leoplorodon, Megaloceros, Megalania, Megalodon, Mosasaurus, releasing when the center releases, Parasaurolophus, Pachycephalosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Plesiosaurus releases when the center releases. Pteranodon, Quetzalcoatlus, Smilodon, Terror Bird, Therizino releasing in May. Tuso Teuthis, and the Woolly Rhino. Oh man, what a flipping list! So that is every creature that is getting an Evo variant. Um, if you again, if you missed the creature, like I I know um, Brontosaurus, um, as well as Paraceratherium. Sorry is on the list of creatures from Dino Hoarders TLC from last time. Um, I did do a couple videos on those, so check them out if you haven't. I mean, those are those are a bit, bit older, but that is everything to do with Paleo Arc Evolution. Again, if you have any further questions in regards to this, do let me know, do let me know, and holy cow, that one, this one actually took a little bit longer to get through than last time, but that is totally okay. All right, let's just jump right in to now Paleo Arc Evo Plus. Now these are again just like the previous portion. Um, all question, the all answers come straight from Mister Depps himself. And actually, this is not going to take long at all because uh, there, uh, there's only the one question. All right, so let's go. Question: What is Evo Plus species? Evo Evo Plus is a complementary mod that design mod series that is designed to work with or rather in conjunction with Paleoarch Evolution, TLC, and its roster. Some creatures that are being TLC'd are getting drastic overhauls, and so Evo Plus was made to fill in the niches left behind and add more creatures that that accompany them that accompany them. Evo Plus is a home for everything from in-game powerful tames to small endemic cr critters that you can catch and befriend. Okay, so here is the planned additions. A secret medium-large theropod, a secret fictional omnivorous theropod, Carithosaurus, Cryptocolitis, Diabloceratops, Empirosaurus, releasing in May, a secret Stegosauri Stegosaurian, Un Unitherium, Unitetherium, excuse me, Chronosaurus, Lita Mahati, releasing in May along with Empirosaurus, 
Miragia, I can't, I don't know if I said that right, Obelisk Squid, Saurian Wyvern, Seismosaurus, Styracosaurus, which is a KBD crossover collab, Stiggy Moloch, which is also a KBD crossover collab, and Taurosaurus. And that is all of the planned additions for Paleo Arc Evo Plus species. Again, much like before, if you have any pre prior questions in regards to either one of these, do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys are all spectacular individuals. Check out everything in the description below, and thank, thank you all. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.